a licensed massage therapist. Damn it, I tried to mislead you with my little laughs. Yeah, that's not true, I'm not licensed. I know that's but, what you do, you'd laugh when but I it's, knew that. It's, but look, I'm not licensed. But you give good ones. I'm really good at yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So that's, can't believe you got that. Okay, so here's the thing. That is true, but, but the they other ones cut are so me you. out of it. So you wouldn't have seen me maybe, but I was, I was in it and then there was an edited version, which they cut me out of. But my name's oh. still there. But I didn't get stung by anything. You've never been stung by anything? No. A bee. Yeah, I, I just felt like I... I'm a water baby, so I get it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, I've choked on a tomato. I've choked on an apple. I... Choked on a giant... <laughs> and I... And I... And I... And I... Uh, I tripped when I was walking down the runway as a 16-year-old model. Did you, one of the trips, uh, or did you? What were did you I a not six, do? You, uh, you, you were probably a 16 year old model. So, or are you just saying, I don't know, yours are hard because I just want to pick the best ones. I'm gonna say that you uh, didn't choke on a tomato. No, I didn't, I I was in Tokyo and I, almost, I had to go to the hospital and there was a And you thing. weren't a runway girl at 16? I was. Damn it, so it was the middle one. It was the apple. Lily, I feel like I can't believe I'm so embarrassed. Oh. Uh, we're such good friends. I don't know anything about you. Nothing. I feel like uh, there's a generation of people that miss the Ted Bundy um, saga. You, yeah, I think the day that they put the camera in the courtroom for Ted Bundy it was a big day for true crime and for the genre a film dedicated to true crime and all of its iterations, different versions. Not a lot of people know about him, but you can learn a lot from his story and from Liz's story. Zach and Joe Berlinger tempted me. <laughs> Lily and Joe Berlinger. It was a, a, an amazing script and told from a very specific perspective that I responded to and I'd, I'd not been aware of this woman that I was playing and I just thought her story was so incredible and the fact that she's still alive today to impart wisdom mm. and, and share information with me and with us. So it, it felt like the right time, politically, environmentally, socially, to tell this story from this perspective. We did escape rooms. We, we do a ton of the same we've stuff. We've done bowling, traveling. Yeah, we've traveled everywhere. There's we've like a done lot. To like, been to some amazing restaurants. We've just kicked it. We're just for like regular friends. Like we've just done a lot of stuff, yeah. Not Gone to Target. Yep, yeah. <laughs> I, so I can't go shopping. It's a little hard for me to go shopping. So um, I dragged him to, to to get frozen yogurt and go to Target one yeah, time. Yeah, and she she literally dragged me to to go. I was like, we're gonna go, Target. we're gonna go to Target. And What's I, the worst that could happen? I never had a bigger smile than when I left Target. Yeah, you were you were. I, such a we good spent time. an hour and a half in there, and I was just like, look at all the things I've been in the store. Look at all these things they have. It was like the first time. Do you have Toys R Us? He was Remember a when kid you were a kid, and Hamley. Either going in there for your first time. Or Disneyland or something like that. That's how long it's been. So I've been great. In I gotta think of the next store that I'm gonna drag him into. Well, I've gotten better now. I know, I, was, I know. I just I'm joking. It was fun. The most important thing for me is that my uh, partner in the scene is comfortable. So, like, we had a lot of scene in the movie, and I just, as long as it's there's a clear line and it's never crossed and talking. Um, the more comfortable that everyone is, the, the better, more natural reactions come out. Is it awkward? Absolutely. A lot of people are in relationships that come into these things, and it's always weird. It's like <laughs> it's 10 or 12 like, crew members just yeah. around. Yeah. Cock sock. That's never fun, right? Yeah, it's just like, it's always absurdly long. Like, they're like that long. You're like, why do I have all this extra material? And Like, seriously, that is excessive. Like, if it was there, like that, that's cool. You know, like I oh get that, God. I get that. I won't fill that up even still. But you know, like, just make like regular guy size ones. They're all this long. They're bigger than the ones, professional ones that like the guys in Florida shake around, like the Magic Mike's, Channing Tatum. <laughs> I would love to be in it. I hope Hugh is involved. I hope Michael Grace is involved. Greatest Showman is a dream come true. That's the balance, I think, is this is a study in acting for me, but then the love and the, the joy comes from those movies. So that, beautiful. Yeah. Of course, I'd love to. That would be awesome. Well, you wouldn't, you, you, you wouldn't have to, you wouldn't have to do what acrobatics can you do? We well, need a new act. 
We a new act. Let me think of something. Or you could be managerial like me, and then that's true. Yeah, because Zendaya, has a secret? Zendaya has. Oh yeah, that. she I let her let her have her shine. Yeah. Okay. You well, I can come up with something else. Yeah, yeah. I, I can be managerial. Yeah. Who has a secret skill? And you can sing too. 